Inside a busy factory, a worker steps toward a humming machine, and the next few seconds do not go as planned. Metal rods ride a conveyor into a large octagonal unit, its internal rollers quietly pulling material through. Workers stand along the line, adjusting settings, watching the flow, and talking over the noise. One worker moves closer and reaches toward the side of the machine to quickly check something. As the opening is approached, the powered rollers surge, biting into the gap and pulling inward with stored force. In an instant, the infeed zone goes from quiet motion to an aggressive, high-pull danger point. Never ever reach toward powered rollers or pull through systems while they're running. Always stop, lock out, and verify before inspecting or clearing anything near the infeed. In a cramped auto shop, a lifted car hangs overhead until one wrong movement turns the entire lift into a sudden, dropping danger zone. A car sits high on a two-post lift, undercarriage exposed, while a mechanic kneels beneath it, focused on a bolt. The bay is tight, floor cluttered with tools, jacks, and cords underfoot. Without warning, the lift lurches. The front of the car drops several inches in a hard jolt, slamming onto the lift arms and rocking the entire vehicle on its supports. In an instant, the elevated car shifts from stable height to an unpredictable downward moving strike zone. Never, ever trust a raised vehicle without verified lift points, fully engaged locks, and solid secondary support. When a lift shifts, even a small drop can turn the entire space beneath it into a collapsing strike zone. On a high-rise construction deck, a single moment of lost control turns an ordinary workday into a fall hazard with no warning at all. The site rises several stories above the ground, surrounded by scaffolds, temporary guardrails, and stacks of unfinished materials. Workers in high-vis vests move between beams, guiding tools, lifting components, and maintaining their daily rhythm of productivity and coordination. One worker stands on a mid-level platform assembling components along the edge. The surface beneath him is stable, but the workspace is narrow, only a few feet between the guardrail and a drop that opens into the unfinished levels below. The job requires careful footing and steady hands, but everything appears routine. Without warning, a medical emergency hits. Normal control over balance vanishes in an instant. The stable stance that keeps weight centered over the platform slips out of alignment and contact with the beam is lost. The narrow platform leaves almost no recovery zone. Center of gravity drifts toward the open side, and the remaining few inches of steel between secure footing and open air disappear fast. At this moment, only guardrails or a personal fall protection system can stop that movement. Never, ever work at height without fall protection that can secure you even if your own body suddenly fails you. A medical emergency can happen to anyone, at any time, with no warning. When you're working off the ground, height magnifies every unexpected moment. At a dimly lit loading yard, a forklift idles near a line of cargo crates, when suddenly a speeding motorbike cuts straight through the invisible danger zone around its raised forks. Night settles heavy over the freight yard. The ground glistens faintly, lit only by tower lamps and the glow of truck headlights. A forklift operator is repositioning a load of massive wooden crates along a trailer bed, forks raised to waist height. From the far corner of the yard, a motorcycle rolls in between parked trailers, weaving through patches of darkness. Its route lines up with the projection of the forklift's steel blades, which extends several feet out from the trailer into the travel lane. The motorcycle threads between two trucks, its headlamp finally catching the raised forks much too late. A violent correction sends the bike skidding, the sudden jolt rocking the forklift and rattling the stacked crates in their racks. Horns sound and warning shouts carry across the yard as the scene comes to an abrupt stop. Never, ever leave forklift forks raised, even for a moment. Always lower forks fully to the ground before stepping away or stopping. Mark work zones clearly. Use barriers and lighting to separate pedestrians and vehicles. What's routine for one shift can quietly turn a shared yard into a high-risk collision zone after dark. On a canal job, an excavator rolls forward on a floating barge until one wrong move sends the entire machine sinking beneath the water in seconds. The crew is working along a narrow water channel, using an excavator positioned on a barge to handle sheet piles. Guidance comes from a steel beam walkway on shore, 
while the excavator's boom is maneuvered toward the edge of the barge. The task is steady and routine, but the barge sits low in the water under a heavy load, and each inch of forward movement pushes its balance closer to the limit. Then the balance shifts. As the excavator moves toward the water's edge, the barge suddenly dips, the platform flexes, and water surges over the side. Weight shifts instantly to the bow, and the machine begins sliding downward. The boom swings as the barge pitches, unable to support the load anymore. The excavator tips nose first into the canal, pulling a surge of water upward as it disappears beneath the surface. Never, ever bring heavy machinery to the edge of an unstable surface, whether it's a barge, a bank, or a temporary platform, because once the weight shifts, the entire structure can collapse faster than anyone can react. In a tight warehouse driveway, a delivery scooter rushes forward, straight toward a truck tailgate. It's nighttime behind a warehouse complex. The area is lit mostly by vehicle headlights and a few overhead lamps. Parked cars fill the right side of the alley, while a box truck sits on the left with its rear cargo gate fully open and extended outward like a metal shelf. At the lower edge of the frame, a delivery rider on a green scooter enters the lane, accelerating as if the path ahead is clear. In a split second, the scooter aligns perfectly with the extended truck gate, its height matching the scooter's travel line. With limited lighting and no markings on the gate, the obstacle appears too late for any meaningful reaction. The scooter continues forward, contacting the metal edge, which jolts the frame and sends vibrations through the surrounding parked vehicles as alarms begin sounding. Never, ever leave a truck tailgate or loading ramp extended into a travel lane, because a rider approaching at even moderate speed cannot detect or avoid a low visibility barrier in time. Every raised or open gate must be folded, marked, or barricaded. The moment it enters the path of traffic, it becomes a strike hazard. In a workshop, one lifted tire suddenly becomes a runaway hazard the moment control slips for half a second. Inside a vehicle repair shop, stacks of large tires sit along the wall. A worker stands beside a loose tire on the ground. He isn't mounting it, securing it, or using machinery. He simply decides to lift it manually. There's no tension, no sign of danger, just a heavy tire and a worker relying solely on balance and grip. The tire is lifted off the ground and brought upright, its weight concentrated in a narrow contact patch. As it's rotated to be repositioned, the center of gravity shifts past its tipping point. Momentum takes over, the tread breaks free from its spot and the tire tips forward, rolling with increasing speed across the shop floor. Tools rattle as it barrels through the bay, turning a single slip in control into a fast-moving runaway object. Never, ever lift or flip a heavy tire without securing its position. The moment it tips, its full weight can overturn faster than you can react. On a front porch, a worker lifted an angle grinder overhead. When the unexpected happened, it's a simple renovation setup on a warm afternoon. A narrow concrete porch is crowded with dust, tools, and extension cords. An angle grinder has been cutting into the exterior stone wall near the top of a doorway, shaping a small section above head height. For this overhead cut, the tool is tilted back toward the standing area on the porch. The disc is working at an unstable angle, where any bind or slip would send its force back through the same narrow space where the operator is positioned. Then the shift happens. Sudden, forceful, and unforgiving. As upward pressure is applied, the disc bites into the stone for a split second. That brief catch triggers instant kickback. The grinder wrenches out of the cut and snaps along the arc of its own power, jerking downward with the full torque of the spinning motor. The tool whips through the narrow porch space it was pointed toward only moments before, scattering dust and showering fragments of stone. Never, ever operate a grinder above shoulder height or in any position where you can't fully control kickback. Overhead, grinding forces the cutting wheel into unstable angles that can bind, twist, and recoil straight back along its own path. Use proper platforms, stable footing, and tool positioning so any potential kickback is directed away from occupied standing areas. One second he twists the cap, and the next, the room erupts like a geyser he never saw coming. Inside a carpeted hallway, bright patterns, quiet space, nothing that looks dangerous. Two men kneel beside a white plastic container sitting on the floor. It looks ordinary, harmless. 
the kind of container you'd expect to fill with water or cleaning solution. A blue hose runs across the floor, connected to equipment out of frame. One man reaches down, steadying the container, about to open or adjust something on top. What isn't visible from the outside is the pressure still trapped inside, air and water packed tight within the plastic walls. The moment the fitting begins to back off its threads, the force doesn't ease out. It detonates upward. The cap snaps free, the hose whips upward, and a column of water erupts out of the container with explosive speed, rocketing high enough to soak the entire hallway in an instant. Never, ever open, loosen, or service a pressurized water container until all internal pressure has been safely released and verified to be zero. Inside a crowded warehouse, a towering stack of plastic crates suddenly tilts, and then the entire column comes crashing forward. Near the loading bay, two workers are organizing boxes beside a massive column of blue plastic crates being moved. The crates are stacked far higher than the surrounding loads, rising like a wall in the middle of a narrow, high-traffic aisle. There's no bracing, no straps, and no barrier. Just height, weight, and gravity waiting for the right moment. Near the base of the stack, a produce crate is shifted out of position, and the tall column begins to move. There's no loud crack, no warning snap, just a sudden silent lean as the entire structure loses balance. In an instant, hundreds of pounds of plastic crates tip forward in a single wave, spilling into the aisle and transforming a quiet loading area into a fast-moving, unstoppable falling mass. Never, ever leave tall, freestanding stacks unsecured in a busy workspace. Once a stack begins to lean, the weight and height turn it into an unstoppable falling mass. Keep all palletized loads stable, strapped or braced, and maintain strict no-work zones around anything stacked above safe height. Use proper rack systems, limit stack height, and secure every load before anyone works in the vicinity. Don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.